Hey yardeners, welcome back to my yard. Today I am tackling a bunch of tasks that I have been putting off. First things first, let's scrub out these disgusting bird baths. These poor birds have been neglected. I actually have three bird baths on the property. So Milo's helping me out here, um, but we are gonna get these scrubbed and cleaned out so the birds have nice fresh water. Next up, we have this second smaller bird bath, which I realized the other day the dogs have actually been using it as a water dish. So I really need to get this cleaned up so that it is fresh water for the dogs. Also, the squirrels actually use it as well. Um, I found this little bird bath at just my local um, Fred Meyer store and it's super cute. Next up, gonna fill up the squirrel feeder. So the little sign behind me says, caution, these squirrels collect nuts. And up above me, there is an, a birdhouse that my husband built and um, now the squirrels live in it. This container that I got actually works really, really well for filling up the squirrel food. And of course I had to pull some weeds while I was at it. Next up, we've got the last bird bath on the property. This one I don't think is getting used very much. It's kind of in a shadier spot, but I, and it was probably the dirtiest one. So I really tried to give it a good scrub down on the ground there next to me. You can see. Going, and I wanted to be sure to get rid of those so that my dogs don't get into them. Now it's time for a task I've been putting off for so long. Um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and dump out some of the things I've been getting rid of and then these garden tools. So tell me in the comments, do you have a spot in your garden where shovels and rakes and garden tools just seem to collect and yet don't get put away where they're supposed to go? Is it just me? Anyway, I spent some time and got all of this stuff put away. Um, and you can see I have a couple Aussie Doodle helpers to make the task that much easier for me. Okay, guys, so I was just getting ready to put away all these tools, which I'm still going to do, but 
it was kind of a good thing I was out here because, get this, my cat attacked a bird. And so here he is. I don't want to get too close, but can you see him here? Hey, buddy. So I think he's going to be okay. I'm letting him chill here. Um, he's been sitting over here for a few minutes. And everybody say good vibes for the little birdie that he makes it so that's part of the reason like you saw me filling up the squirrel feeder and I have been putting a few um I've been feeding the squirrels but I try not to feed the birds because my cat will get them so anyway hopefully little bird will be fine So I just wanted to show you guys really quickly um, here in our shed. Last year we installed these little like clip things to kind of hold some of our tools. Um, they are okay. I don't know that I would totally recommend them. Obviously we have way more like gardening tools than we have clips. Uh, they're not the best. Um, I might try to find something different, but the way that they work is these little things like, whoop, they go like that so you can kind of, I mean, so they're, they're working. I just don't know that they're really great for like super heavy stuff. So like some of the heavier shovels and like the dig bar and stuff, I just set on the ground still. So, and then really quickly, this is my shed, which is an absolute disaster area. <laughs> it's so bad, you guys. One of these days, one of these days I will get my act together. But anyway, I just wanted to show you um, that little clippy system. Good news, the bird just flew up into the tree. So that's my win of the morning besides getting all the stuff done that I don't want to do. But yet here we are. Here we have the predator in question. Midnight, what do you have to say for yourself? Huh? What do you have to say for yourself? Midnight showed up at our house a couple years back and he was a stray in the neighborhood. And um, so he has a, a lot of um, instincts which is great because he also takes care of our rats and mice and all that, which I don't mind at all. But the birds, midnight, could you leave the birds alone? Okay, thanks. Now it's time to head out to the front yard. This sweet alyssum was just taking over my little annual bed here and it was just leggy and done and Tell me in the comments, it, does it seed itself everywhere? Because that's kind of my concern. It was time for it to go. I might look at something, uh, look for something at the nursery to replace this, or I might just kind of let this area breathe a little bit. My super tunias were looking beautiful, but they were just getting crowded out by all that sweet alyssum. So it was time for it to go. Here is the aftershot of that flower bed. It looks so much better. I'm so happy that I spent a few minutes to pull it out. And then over here, this is another front flower bed. Um, just pulling some weeds here. I have one dahlia there in the center of the frame that's absolutely beautiful. My Shasta daisies are going for it and my um, daylilies are about ready to pop. So it's gonna be really pretty, but of course there's a lot of weeds. So I tried to get some done. So these are actually carrot plants and they, I planted them in the ground last fall. They were seeds. 
I was kind of letting them do their thing thinking I would collect the seeds, but look at how many blooms there are. I don't think anyone needs that many carrot seeds. So what I did is I cut a few of them. I thought maybe I'll put them in a vase. They're kind of pretty. I don't know, what do you think? Tell me in the comments. Um, and then the rest, uh, it was just time to pull these out. And they were using up way too much valuable real estate in one of my raised garden beds. Planted next to them is a bunch of zucchinis, which is what I'm actually wanting to feed my family rather than the, collect these carrot seeds. So if I want carrot seeds, I will go to the store and buy a pack of carrot seeds. So here's what they look like underneath the soil. It was kind of crazy. I definitely got my workout in for the day. I'm like sweating. <laughs> anyway, but I feel really good about some of the stuff I got done. I got those garden tools put away, which has been bugging me. Like I got so many things done that has just been bothering me, right? I got those carrots pulled. I got the front cleaned up. And now I have room for some more plants. So I might just have to go to my favorite nursery and go see what they have. I'm not sure if they have any veggies starts anymore, but... I still have time to grow some stuff. So anyway, thanks for joining me today on my <laughs> journey of procrastination of things that I needed to get done and didn't want to do. But you know what? I got it done and that feels really good. So here's your motivation. If you've been putting off some yardening tasks and you don't want to do them, just devote an hour, go get it done. You'll feel a lot better. At least I do. Thanks for joining me. If you like the video, please subscribe, like, share with a friend, and um, go out and get in your yard. It's a fun place to be. Most days it's fun. Today was fun-ish. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.